Welcome back to my tutorial series on how to set up and use the SICK Augmented Reality Assistant. In this tutorial, you will learn how to localize your predefined cell, merge visualized sensor data with the real-world environment. To begin, position your cell markers to identify a cell. In my demo case, I only need one cell marker. Depending on your cell configuration, you may have multiple markers spread across your room. To localize your cell markers, log into the system as admin. Only the administrator has access to the system calibration function. Click on the tab Localization. The screen Localization Overview will now open and display a list of all configured cells. Only one cell is configured in my demo case. By clicking on a cell, two options will appear localize cell markers, and localize tags. The localize cell markers button starts a workflow to create a digital model of your cell markers in a cell. Sara will use this model later to assign configured views to scanned markers. The localize tags button starts another workflow to assign your predefined tags to a specific location in your cell. Let's now localize the cell markers. Start the localization workflow. The SARA app will guide you through the localization process. Scan your cell marker. The localization process needs at least two cell markers. I'll use a temporary marker instead. This comes with the SARA box. And directly start with the localized tags workflow. Next, scan the temporary marker. A line will now appear between both markers. The line indicates the relationship between these two markers. If the line is stable, confirm your settings. Because I just have one marker, I'll continue by clicking the No button. Our last step is to remove all the markers we don't need at runtime. For example, all temporarily placed markers. Move around and scan each marker removing the unneeded markers one by one. Confirm their removal. After confirmation, you will see the marker's checkmark is grayed out. This indicates the system recognizes the markers while knowing they should be ignored. Once you have removed and confirmed each unneeded marker, confirm your decision to remove all of them by clicking the Finish button. Now you've localized the cell and all its markers. The next step is to localize the tags. To begin, let's discuss what a tag is. A tag is a virtual container that includes all the views initially configured using SARA Editor. In this workflow, I'm going to place predefined tags for a specific location in the cell in relation to a specific cell marker. You may need different registration plates to define the tag's position in the real-world environment. There are two different types of registration plates. Registration pointer, sensor-specific registration plate. Use the registration pointer to determine the position when accuracy is not needed for displaying individual data at any position. For distance measuring devices, where the goal is to display specific sensor-related data, such as a scan field, use the sensor-specific registration plate to determine the exact position of the data. Let's assign the NanoScan 3 registration plate to the sensor. You can use a rubber band to attach it. You only need the registration plate for this step, and you can remove it later. To start tag localization, select one of the tags listed on the first page. In my demo case, I have only one tag that I want to assign to my NanoScan 3. Scan the cell marker. This will serve as the reference marker for the position of the data. Then, scan the NanoScan 3 registration plate. A line between the marker and the registration plate will appear. This line indicates the tracking quality and a coordinate system that helps you determine how SARA sees the orientation and direction of the laser scanner. If the line appears stable, 
and the coordinate system's orientation is correct, confirm your settings. You can now remove the registration plate. If you look at the list of tags, you will see the tag now has a check mark. This indicates it's localized. Click Finish to complete the workflow. You have now localized your predefined cell 